Runner goes. And there's a fly ball, a shallow left coming on to Matsui. Can't make the play. A base hit as Euclid will stop at second. And Matsui is a little shaken up. You'll see right, right at the front of his glove, if that slides right there, you're fine. But it caught and actually went back, and it just tears your wrist with it. Young down the line, that one heading towards Braun, sliding, and he's unable to make the play. No catch there, come on down, moving into the plate, the slide, the tag, out of the plate. And boy, uncomfortable Steven at the Drew's plate, hurt. Stephen Drew is hurt. You see right there, that left leg catches the shin guard of Jonathan Lucroy. Boy, it's really oh, bad. No, 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 it's, it's the right. Sure, Holtz has the best arm. Fairly shallow. More center than right. Cousins is going to test him. Posey can't handle it. And Posey gets clobbered. Posey is hurt. And he never caught the ball. The Marlins are back ahead. And the Giants' only focus now is Buster Posey. Here comes a throw. And Posey gets clobbered at home plate. And he can't hang on to the ball. And Posey may be hurt. Posey just got destroyed at home plate by Scott Cousins coming in hard. In 1995, Junior added to his personal highlight reel at the Kingdom. With the Mariners trying to hold on to a 4-3 lead over the Orioles, Kevin Bass hit a shot off Randy Johnson. Out of nowhere, Griffey tracked it down, then slammed it to the wall. But this sensational catch came with a price. Junior shattered his wrist. He missed the next 73 games after doctors inserted a metal plate and seven screws into the wrist. Here's the set. The 3-2 pitch, a wild pitch back to the screen. Scoring from third is Alisaia. It's ball four and Saunders is hurt. A wild pitch because something in his arm snapped. Repair torn ligaments in his left elbow. And as he let that pitch go, the arm appeared to snap. And Young ground ball off the chest of Freeman. Hudson got to the bag. And a collision. Hudson might have been stepped on. This is not good. He had his right foot on the bag, and then his heel came up, and you're going to need it. That's not good. That hit him. Trey Turner up and in around his hands on the bat, and the bases are loaded with one out. I think it got the right hand, right wrist. Mm. And let's hope he's okay. Peralta waiting on a 2-2. Grounded. Jeter will not be able to make a play there at the corners. He's all right. He rolled over and tried to toss that ball. Kind of trips up here. And you can see that scream of pain from Derek. Tripped up. Kind of lands awkwardly on that ankle. Is trying to do to distract you. There he goes. He goes, and the ball skied to center field. Kiermaier coming on in a hurry. Nope. Cannot hold it. It's going to drop in for a base hit. Uh -oh. And Kiermaier hurt himself. Kiermaier hurt himself diving for that one. Oh, he landed right. Right on top of that hand. Oh, man. Two pitch again to Gorman. Swung on. Ground ball to the right side. Base hit out of the right field. Here comes Bradley. Ronnie third. The throw by Barfield. And it's going to be in time. The collision. Bradley bowls Martinez over. Thomas will wind up on the third base. Ronnie third. The throw gets by Orange. Throw to the plate. And it is in time to get Gorman. Holy smoke. Buck Martinez bowled over. And he was on. Crutches and MRI has shown a broken bone. It's what Paul Molitor called a compaction fracture just above his knee. Hughes was hit by a comebacker line drive on Thursday in that game against Miami. Hughes does not need surgery. Oh my gosh. That ball hit Stanton right up in the face area. It looked like his hands covering his face. He turned into that ball. And it caught him right, it looked like up under the helmet. Oof. Oh, wow. Goodness. 
right and looked like the cheek underneath the left eye. Now, Laird, was he hit? Yes. Royals are going to argue, and it's going to be bench coach John Gibbons. Now we got him on the hand. All hand right there. Wow. Whoa. Uh oh. No, no. Uh -oh. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. As he retires as an angel, his first pitch a little low and outside, and there goes the knee of Don Baylor. Good grief. Did you see that? And at I, first I, we thought he, he wasn't really hurt, but that knee really went down. He needed assistance here. And that knee and hip injury, look at that. That's a shame.